In today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to create step-by-step -step from sketch to vector this crazy flower. Remembering that this process can be reproduced for any other illustration. Welcome to my channel, my name is Fernando Nunes, so let's get into it. Let's draw. First, you'll need a paper to make the draft. I start by drawing the silhouette of the flower, which will define the shape of it. Our silhouette will be a circle. Then, with another circle, we will find the middle of this flower. We will find the place where the petals will come out. From the center, I will distribute the axis of the petal. The axis will guide the direction from where and to the petals go. I start shaping the petals. I always respect the direction of the defined axis. Then, I create some leaves under the, under the petals. And the process is the same, okay? Axis first, then the shapes. And finally, the little hairs with the little hats. Right, this sketch was made in Photoshop. I'm gonna save the image and paste it in the first layer on Illustrator. Decrease the opacity a little bit. And a new layer, I start draw the line art. But first, I import my pack of custom brushes which will give a liquid and irregular look to the final artwork. If you want my set of brushes, my ebook colors, the link is in the description. And if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, do it. Activate the notifications and that old story that you hear in the other channels. But it's true, folks. Do this as it reflects the content that I will be publishing here. And after having done that, um, just leave your comment, your suggestion for the next video in the comments below. Coming back, there is no secret here. I'm gonna draw only the lines that matter. Sometimes the line does not fit well, so it is interesting to try different thickness. In a new layer, I draw the central shade of the flower and right after that, I create another layer that will be the line art of the leaves. I create a white square bigger than the leaves, send it back, select everything and go to Pathfinder, click on Divide. Okay, all our shapes will be divided and now we will be able to change the color of each shape that is inside an outline. I create a shadow layer for each element and draw the details. Next, I come with my other pack of glowing brushes to give a magical sensation to the artwork. Basically, this is everything you have to do. If you want, you can play by copying, pasting, rotating, reflecting until a bouquet is formed. This is my final result. I was unable to record the process, but this brilliant and glowing effect you can get in my other brushes pack. That's it. I hope you have enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a suggestion for the next video.